So a lot of people think that you can gain muscle and lose fat at the same time, which is true. But a lot of people don't understand that muscle is built far, far, far slower than fat is mobilized. You cannot gain muscle and lose fat at a one-to-one -one ratio. And there seems to be this huge misconception that a lot of people may begin working out or begin a diet and not lose weight and then say, oh, it's because I'm gaining muscle. That is false. If you are improving your body composition and losing fat, your weight should be going down no matter what. If your weight is not going down, then you're simply not losing fat. So the physiology behind why muscle building is far slower than fat loss is because think about it this way. You have adipose cells already in your body, fat cells. They're already there. Simply what happens is if you eat too much substrate or too many calories, it gets converted into triglycerides and stored in the fat cell for later use. Basically, the energy or the substrate is just changing form and being stored later into a cell that's already there. Muscle tissue, though, is built out of nothing. You are taking the substrate, the energy, and the amino acids and building new tissue essentially out of thin air. This requires much more time, much more energy, and a much more complicated process than simply having a receptor interact with a fat cell and just pulling the triglycerides out into free fatty acids into the bloodstream. That is a very simple process. Building new tissue or building muscle tissue out of thin air, far more complicated. And that is why you cannot build muscle and lose fat at a one-to-one -one ratio. If you are building muscle and losing fat at the same time, you must still see a decrease in your overall body weight consistently. If you're not, then you're not losing fat and you're likely not building muscle.